Welcome to yesterday's airlines. In this video, the plan is to take a look at my Pan American 1400 model collection, which is stored over here in the United States area and in one and a half rows or one and a half shelves, sorry, of this cabinet. First part of the Pan Am collection represents from the 1940s to the mid 60s. It's mainly aero classics. We've got some silver top fleet members from the late 40s DC3, CB240, and the Curtis C46 Commando. A couple of early Connies, and then into the white top 1950s era, and into the Globe scheme of 1960 onwards. Everything's Aero Classics except for the 727-100, which is Gemini, and the Fantasy Concorde at the back, which is Dragon Wings. Moving down to the second shelf, we're entering into the 1970s, where Pan American became Pan Am. We've got Clipper Victor up here, Dragon Wings 747, representing the earliest livery on the 747. A couple of Name shortened 707s. And then the 1976 scheme, larger titles, slanted flag on the tail, and the 747SP, and the Pan Am Cargo, and a classic 747 in behind. As we move to the right, we're entering the close of the 70s and the early 80s as Pan Am, ill advisedly, took over National. We've got an ex National DC 10 and quite a recent release, a Gemini 727 200. Through the 1980s, we've got another pair of ex National aircraft, a 727 100 and a DC 10 in the white belly version of the Pan Am livery. Then moving back into the 70s, behind them we have a short TriStar 500, that's Dragon Wings. We've got two of the experimental schemes that Pan Am tried out on their 747s before they finally settled on the billboard, which represents the last portion of the collection. An Apollo 77-200 and a Gemini SP, but the rest of these models are Aero Classics, except for the little ATR-42, which is of course Gemini. So that wraps up my Pan Am collection for the moment. There aren't too many other models that I probably need to add, but always on the lookout for new Pan Am aircraft, even though I haven't actually got much space to store anymore, to be honest.